This is Nelson GM Nanda. I don't need to introduce myself anymore. You know about this channel, you know about what we do. And if you have called us or watched our videos, we have helped you in one way or the other. So in 2023, we want to look at installation of the WAEG offline module, which we know is for data collection for uh, candidates in every year. This software is always modified and especially for 2023 there's a lot of differences if you have watched our previous video like the 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023 uh, version of the software is quite different though it's it, it's actually a, a bit different just a slight change in maybe the mood of registration or the requirements so the the changes started with the link to download if you are checking google the usually the link they will give you is is the old link maybe if you use this time okay the first link that comes out is the the link for the private work but i think the search result used to show the old link where we download the software okay for now since the link is not working anymore i think they have removed it but they are not displaying the original link for the recent download so i want to walk you through downloading this and let's see how the installation goes so the first thing to do with this software is you see there are two options if you come to offline.yconline.org.ng remember that yconline.org.ng is also the 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 domain where so they have maybe a branch where they store the software online since it is windows uh, i think visual studio always makes it simple to set up things like this where you have the download link they just give you the everything is set up for you from visual studio so looking at this you when you come to offline.org.ng <coughs> you have this and that is where we are going we want the direct online installation and then it opens another tab so this is no problem for people who are versed with uh, web development they know what happened they know the cut behind this so all you need to do is continue from here these are just instructions they are given to uh, schools but we know that this registration is mostly done by private organizations like national city services uh, is a private organization but it handles the registration for schools so recently uh, from 2021 what we did was we trained a lot of exams officers and right now most of them have taken over the the job because uh, as the founder i was supposed to leave the country so i didn't want to leave the school confused so i decided to train the school officials to take over this job so uh, and we also hope that youths out there will take up this opportunity learn these basics help yourself with some few financial help like registering for schools you always get uh, some stipends even though it might not be much but you always get and people who live in rural areas might have just few schools but when you are in the big city there is always a large opportunity for you to scale with this we have for we have the jam 
and also why included the why cast so downloading the why is different from downloading the cast software remember you start from cast then you come to the ssc but you don't need to do the cast for you to do the ssc so all you need is the cast must be uploaded even not by you but you have to make sure that the cast is uploaded because any school without cast cannot do the ssc and recently any school that has not uploaded till now which is february 5th uh, is expected to pay the sum of hundred thousand naira to upload their candidate and if any candidate has a correction to make this candidate is supposed to pay the sum of five thousand naira to edit their data so we are going to talk about all this in the coming videos but let's walk through the download <coughs> we proceed and we proceed so you just have to scroll and proceed if you think the information is important to you you can just wait for it but uh, i would just keep to what brought me remember this page if you are coming from the previous registration years this page is just the same and every data every requirement is also the same so you don't have to if you are working on the same system from 2020 only a few things will be replaced and your registration is ready to start so you see the requirements we have the biometric prerequisite if you are on a 32 bit or 64 bit system you download any of them and install it separately then windows installer 3.1 this one you have it i think automatic from windows 7 windows 8 upward just windows 7 upward this uh, windows installer uh, might have already been installed then we have the visual basic pack you don't have to do this uh, you don't have to bother about this uh, but there is a software called visual studio c++ redistributed when you download and install that usually the pack will come in with it then we have the dotnet framework uh, point 0.4 from windows 2 uh, uh, windows 7 can also take that then visual studio 2010 report viewer this one also uh, i think when you install the dotnet most of these things will come in with it but don't worry about that <coughs> If all these require these four requirements are met, what you do is you click the install button. Now the install button will install will download a small executable file. Remember I'm just redoing this because I already have the file installed. Now after the file is installed, is downloaded, it's just a few kilobytes. You would run the file. we know that it's not from a trusted publisher why is not registered with microsoft and blah blah but just any one process of why it shows this just for you to accept it and sometimes it might hide the run and accept you really want to do it now you see it's trying to install something and it's pulling this data from maybe an online server or something it's the visual studio but it's the 2014 so it's always backward compatible and things like that so allow it to complete the downloads it will install the This software is already installed on this system but you see it's still trying to download this visual studio there are two softwares that we are supposed to download but for now it's downloading only one this one will always download anytime you try to download again it will still download 
anytime you click this setup it will first download this software and try to install it <laughs> when it's done it will now take us to the next step remember if all these prerequisites are installed all you need to do is if these components are already installed you can just launch but if you are not sure if these are installed click the install button this launch will download a different software let's see launch will download a different software and it's something dot application offline dot application now this will just directly run a particular screen the screen I'm talking about so the screen that will be coming up is just the same thing with this one but I think it won't come up because I already have the software installed okay it will try to check if there was any changes and then it will launch the software remember as soon as it finished downloading it will launch this very screen so maybe because the screen is already here it might not come up but I will just give it a few minutes and see if it's going to come up let me just exit this so that I will show you what happens launch application is an executable file may contain virus malicious code harmful to your computer yes I know where the software is coming from so I trust it now all it will do is launch the screen I think my system is the one that is slowing this process down trying to come up at the same time but uh, one funny thing is these two softwares will launch two different screens that is one funny thing with this why usually some software will tell you okay I'm already launched and I'm, you are trying to launch again will stop so it has checked and seen that everything in this system is okay so it will just launch the screen so if you have any problem from here just uh, comment on this video and I'll get back to you I'm uh, almost online all the time except that I might not reply to your YouTube uh, comment instantly but most of the time I would do that because I would always get an email this is what I was talking about the two screen will launch and will still be displaying Okay, so thank you for watching see you in the next video and this is why 2023